Hi, hello, welcome to my blog. Vlog. Um, my name is Nina Niskanen and this is my, my sewing log, vlog. And today is Tuesday the 3rd of August. Um, yesterday I spent basically the whole day uh, washing the fabric and getting the pattern together for my Zadie jumpsuit and also the Marit Moret pants. Um, and we have reached today and I don't feel like it. So what I have been doing instead is making panties. These are um, Muna and Broad's Warata Warata undies and uh, yeah I just need to <laughs> they were surprisingly quick to make I just uh, I had the pattern already printed out so I after I was done putting the Zadie jumpsuit and the Moret pants together I just I looked at the pile and I was like okay you two come on so, so then I just, the pattern was just sitting there and I was like, okay, let's make some panties. And, and I cut it out of my remnant moomin fabric, which is awesome. And, uh, it's almost done. I, You think about how how undies are probably going to be very easy to make. And turns out they really, really are. So yeah, I've almost got new undies. Um, so what I need to do is I need to make a mock-up of uh, both the... Well, at least the um, the top of the um, Zadie jumpsuit, as well as another for the Moret pants, and I really don't want. To. So my my choices are um, there's a, a bit of um, quite rough linen probably meant for honestly furniture use or um, interior decoration use use um, in my in my cabbage patch and there are there are also two curtains there that uh, have this um, glorious 70s chevron stripe on them uh, and I need to just go digging for 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 these uh, fabrics. Uh, one or both of them should should be a good fit for the for the um, for the mock-ups. <clears throat> Honestly, if if they if they work out and I wind up with a wearable mock-up that would be nice but if they don't I don't really care they're in my cabbage patch for a reason but um, I just need to go dig them out and do the thing and I just really do not want. <laughs> I'm very tired today, y'all. Um, I went, I went to get a. So first of all, on Sunday I dropped a, a weightlifting bar on the back of my head. I, I still have this bump here. Uh, so my mom got really worried about that when I told her about it as moms do, and I told her that I would get myself 
to the doctor. Because, you know, moms. Anyway, uh, I did today. It was early. Uh, and I am fine. She did a neurological check on me. I am fine, except that I have a... Um, my neck is very stiff. So, yeah. And then a few hours after that, I went to get my monthly leg massage and that always leaves me feeling tired. I can't come up with a with an English word, English language word that is as good. Um, in Finnish I would say pöllämystynyt, which is um, basically you're tired, you're confused, you're uh, all kinds of things that are, are not fun to deal with. So that's how I feel. I'm, I am my partner says I have to stay awake for at least one hour more, which would make it 8 p.m. And then I can go, go to sleep so that I will actually sleep through the night and not wake up somewhere sometime in the uh, early, early morning and be as tired tomorrow. Which is, you know, I, I see the wisdom in that, but... I'm also just... I... I I just want to go to bed. So anyway, let us finish these panties because that way I will at least have done something today. I will see you on the other side. Alright, uh, the panties are done. They look good. I have not tried them on yet. Probably should. Uh, but I am tired. It is already past 9 p.m. so I can go to bed. I will see you tomorrow. Good evening. It is Thursday the 5th of August? My goodness, we are already in August. <sighs> that is... That is not to be born. Anyway. Uh, today I'm starting my work on the Zadie jumpsuit. I just measured the uh, crotch seam on the, t the pants portion of the jumpsuit. And that should be good. It should be enough, so I'm not gonna make a, um, uh, what is the word, a mock-up that includes that portion of 
the uh, pattern, but uh, I should probably make a mock-up of the um, the top portion. Um, so I'm not worried about the measurements around. They they look like they should be good. But uh, the crotch seam is one that does tend to um, give me give me problems because well I have a lot of junk in the trunk. <coughs> well, honestly, I have a lot a lot of muscles in the trunk. So <laughs> let's be honest here. So um, it it does tend to protrude because again. I just have a lot of muscles in my lower body. I I I did karate when I was a teenager, so just when I so so just when my um musculature was evolving, my lower body muscles got a big workout. At least what three times a week, four times a week, something like that. So there's a lot of muscle there. I mean. There's probably a good amount of fat as well, but there's a lot of muscle there. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yes, so the crotch seam is one that I tend to be worried about because, uh, well, anyway, uh, I'm probably going to have to make uh, some adjust adjustments to the marette pants, but we'll get to those probably next week or the week after that. But again, uh, the top. The top may be a problem. Um, the other, other uh, measurement that tends to be a problem is uh, my center back measurement. Um, I have a sway back, so so uh, the <laughs> the the length tends to be too much, and that is also the case here. Um, so the back on the Zadie jumpsuit is to the to the natural waist. Uh, the back on the Zadie jumpsuit to the natural waist is uh, forty. Eight centimeters uh, when you discount uh, discount the seam allowance and my back measurement to the same point is 42 centimeters yes 42 centimeters so that is a slight problem um, and the thing is that I there's a there's a dart in the back, so I need to transfer that in order to be able to see uh, see what the situation is for. Oh, I'm sorry. It's nowhere near this this late yet, so I shouldn't be this tired, but I am. Anyway, um. The back length is too long, just like <sighs> however you cut it, it's too long. Uh, it's 48 centimeters um, and it should be 42 centimeters to fit snugly, but uh, the Zadie jumpsuit has a very relaxed fit, so uh, it should probably be a relaxed fit on the... Um, On the back as well. So uh, the current total is 49 centimeters and uh, I think it should be 40... Um, 49 centimeters and I... If I lobbed off about four centimeters that would leave me about this much ease in the back <sighs> I 
and I'm starting to wonder if that's too little. It's not like the waist ties don't don't uh, uh, don't are aren't going going to keep it well in place at the natural waist. So now I'm second guessing myself and trying to figure out if I should just go ahead and make it as it is or as it's laid out or if I should uh, take out maybe I don't know uh, maybe two centimeters three centimeters something like that so that would leave it at 46 centimeters Yeah, I, I I can see I can see how that would be better. I mean the top is it is a relaxed fit like everywhere, and I'm not sure because like five centimeters. Hold on, let me find an actual measuring tape and show you exactly. Here we go. So five centimeters is this much. Uh, this much. <laughs> this much extra extra length. Uh, so it's so my middle finger is hmm. maybe I should just make it as is. I don't know. In other news, um, uh, my writing friends, I have I have a weekly meeting with my writing friends. I can't remember if I've talked about it on 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 this channel, but we also uh, we also a little bit at least, and the. There's this, uh, I think it's an art, th art, uh, performance art or fashion design art thing that is, um, um, uh, it's called the Rational Dress Society and they have this jumpsuit pattern that they have. And it's it's basically just it's a very basic flight suit is what it is and their thing is that it is a non-gendered uh, what was it a non-gendered non-capitalistic jumpsuit which like Anyway, <laughs> no ethical consumer under capitalism. <laughs> Shout out to, um, <laughs> I can't remember her, her channel. Uh, anyway, um, uh, what was I saying? I was talking about the jumpsuit. So, um, Last week, uh, I think around Wednesday, Thursday, I I ordered some fabric, and it was before I had used up my 30 meters of stash. So just now, I ordered some more fabric because I I am apparently a glutton for punishment. But it was after I ordered the the fabric for the jumpsuit, uh, which is. I'm very much looking forward to that, but that's another thing. Um, the jumpsuit, yes. Um, so yeah, just now I ordered some more. So now I'm starting my whole 30 fabric challenge again. So yeah. 
here goes nothing. Anyway, um, I think yes, I am going to uh, bring the uh, shorten the uh, the the come on now the back on the Zadie jumpsuit. So here here I have the pattern. So my biggest problem with this, with the shortening this, is, uh, oh wait, they have, they're very, very smart people, aren't they? Uh, they have a lengthen or shorten here. So all I have to do is I, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a slash and, what is it? Slash, slash and spread is the uh, is the other way, but anyway, so they have this lengthen or shorten here line right here. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut all the way to this edge, but not through it, uh, and then I'm just going to overlap the other edge. Um, because it's not cut on fold. So I'm going to overlap the other edge. Um, maybe three or four centimeters. Four, definitely four. Anyway, I'm going to overlap the other edge and then I'm going to tape it there probably smooth out a smooth out the curve a bit because as you can see this is this is definitely a straight edge so it should probably be a straight straight edge going forward as well and that should take care of the sway back problem and still leave a little bit of ease at the back even though we're taking out the because my big problem right here is right here uh, it's the dart so I don't I want to make sure that the dart is remains as as it needs to be so yes I'm going to do the do the thing. I will see you on the other side. The pattern adjustments are done. I just measured the crotch seam on the on the moret pants. It's not gonna work out. I'm gonna need to add um, at least two uh, five centimeters, uh, aka two inches, to it. Uh, I'm gonna do the the uh, 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 I'm gonna do a similar trick there, uh, just in the other opposite direction. The thing there is that the moret pants have darts, and I think that I am probably going to have to do some changes there. So that's gonna be fun, which is why I am making, well, most likely shorts length, uh, ch uh, what is the word? So shorts length, uh, mock-up of that, those, uh, next week because uh, the darts are very specific 
and I think, well, I am worried that I might have to change their length a bit. And I really don't want to, but I might have to. So, because I'm going to have to do the slash and spread thing and might have to change the length of the um, <clears throat> darts, I'm, I'm gonna leave that whole thing until next week or whenever I'm done with the Zadie jumpsuit. But I can proceed with Zadie, which means that I am going to go ahead and cut the fabric out now. And because there is so much of that fabric and the pieces are pretty long, um, I'm not going to be able to film that. I need to do that in the, in the living room slash hallway. And that's going to be a whole thing. I wonder if I could fit it on this table after all. Well, anyway, I will see you on the other side. Okay, so I have a problem. Um, so here's the thing. I only have probably about five and a half, six meters of, of this. And I need eight in order to do both the moret pants and the Zadie jumpsuit. That's not happening. Why am I so crooked? Much better. So yes, um, I don't have enough of this brown suiting fabric to to do both, essentially, is, is the thing. And... Well, obviously I'm gonna do the, the Zadie jumpsuit out of this because uh, I'm, I'm ready to go with that and I mean look at it, it's lovely, it's, it's gonna be a great jumpsuit. But it does mean that I need to go into my stash and figure out what else I can use to make the moret trousers. Also, the other problem is that there are these these hanging things on 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 this fabric and I'm not real pleased about that. I think it might have gotten caught on the the um, washing machine. So that's not great. Anyway, um, the fabric itself is a mix of uh, probably cotton, uh, wool, and maybe 5% elastine or something like that. Because it, it is definitely woven and it definitely does stretch a bit. So yeah. Uh, that's the most, well, so I did a burn test. Uh, a burn test is, uh, for those who, who aren't familiar, a uh, burn test is something that you do when you're not sure about what the con contents of the fabric are. As was the case here because this was a remnant bit of suiting that I bought, uh, well, from my favorite yarn, uh, yarn, fabric store, or the, the one that I used most often. Uh, and because it's in the remnant bin, the only thing I know is that it is an Italian suiting. Uh, I think it said something like um, suiting wool or something like that, but I don't remember for sure. Sure. Uh, 
But the burn test, uh, what it did was it burned. Like it, it caught fire. So that tells me that there is a natural fiber, uh, non wool fiber in there because sometimes plastic also burns. Um, but um, the thing that happened while it burned was that it smelled very sharp, uh, like hair burning. So there has to be at least some measure of animal fiber in there because animal fiber is hair. And um, because it caught, uh, that means that there's probably cotton in there, cotton or linen. And then um, when I when I put it out, when I put the fire out, um, the the edge edge came apart like very papery, which means that it's probably cotton. Uh, also because cotton is a lot cheaper than uh, linen so it's usually it's used in stuff like this a lot more so probably cotton and wool and then there was not so much beading but a sort of a sort of harder plasticky feel to the very burned e burnt edge and that tells me that there is a little bit of uh, some sort of synthetic fiber here which means probably elastine because it it's again it stretches and it doesn't stretch a lot so yeah that is my best guess. So if I were to guess, I'd say it's probably about 60-70% cotton, 5% um, elastine, and the rest is wool. Because it is a very fine suiting fabric. Uh, fine in weight, not in not in um anyway uh so yeah i am going to get cutting on this so that i can see how much i wind up not having <laughs> because there's a lot so anyway um i'm going to i'm going to start working now I'll see you on the other side. All right, everything is cut out. And it looks pretty good, all of it. It's just impossible to see in this light. I mean, I can see it, but I can't really get the camera to pick up, pick up the, the, the brown, it's too deep. Anyway, um, I need to re-thread both my machines. I don't have brown thread for the serger. So I'm gonna go with black for that one. But I did find a brown thread that is almost perfect for this in the in the Bernina thread department, the sewing machine department. Anyway, so the first thing we are going to do is surging the back seam and then basically sewing all the, the, uh, What is the word? Darts, all the darts. I need to sew all the darts together. Back seam, darts. 
and then after that comes uh, the shoulder seams and then the side seams. So what I think I'm going to do is I am going to serge the back seam and the shoulder seams and then I am, or rather, I think I'm going to do that before. So I need to serge the side seams, preferably before they get sewn together. And that means that I need to, sorry, I'm looking at the, the fabric trying to decide if I've miscalculated which is the front side. Uh, one of them looks smoother and one of them looks rougher. And I think I'm going to leave the rougher one on the inside. So anyway, um, <clears throat> so the side seam on the bodice, that needs to be uh, surged before I sew it, but so because the the idea is that you will um, turn it inside uh, or um, open it. You will open it and press it open, and the back seam and the shoulder seams don't have the same instructions. But, um, frankly, that is going to be a job for tomorrow because it is already 11 p.m. I still need to shape a couple of loaves of um, sourdough bread and I am very, very tired, y'all. So, oh, I think I am done for tonight. I don't just think that. I, I, am, I am very much done for tonight. But I am actually very, very excited about taking this jumpsuit forward and getting it done. I'm actually I'm actually already considering making a second one out of a jeans fabric. That would be fun. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow in these uh uh, <laughs> I am way too tired. I will see you tomorrow for all the surging and all the all the darts. So many darts. There are way too many darts on this thing. But I will sew them all. They will be good. I'll see you on the other side. Good afternoon, evening, evening. <laughs> it is already evening. Um, it is uh, Friday the 6th of August, probably. Anyway, um, we are here to make the Zadie jumpsuit happen. Whee! So what I'm gonna do is I am going to surge the center front, uh, center back seam um, shut and then I'm gonna serge the side seams on I should probably do the same uh, do it at the same time for 
the front. Anyway, uh, I'm going to serge the side front, uh, side seams, side, side seam seam allowances for, um, ahead of time so that it's ready to go when I'm sewing the side seam so that I don't have to finish the, the seam separately afterwards. And, um, what else? Yeah, after that, I'm going to sew all the darts. And there's going to be a lot of darts. Two in the back, two in the front, and then two more on the pants portions. And I think I'm, I'm going to try to sew all of them at once so that... I don't know. Do I want to? Huh. Maybe I don't want to. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, the top in itself looks, top part, it, <laughs> perfect. Frick's sake, um, the top part of the um, jumpsuit looks very simple to to get done. So I think I should be able to get it done before dinner. I think uh, at least the uh, at least the things are are relatively quick looking. Maybe I should just do the darts first and then do the... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the darts first because that way I can just keep on surging and do the... do the um, shoulder seams at the same time while I'm already over over there on the uh, on the thing. Okay, anyway. I will get sewing now and I will see you on the other side.
Okay, so the top is almost finished. I need to press the seams, all the seams, the back seam, the shoulder seams, and most importantly, the side seams. Um, once I've pressed the side seams, I can um, top stitch the uh, hole for, for the ties, and then it's finished except for for adding the ties and that was that was surprisingly easy um apparently dinner's ready so i'm not gonna do that right now uh but i will see you once i have pressed everything prettily i'll see you then good evening it is saturday the I think the seventh. Um, it has been raining all day and well I'm mostly done with everything that I need to get done today except for the sewing. So let's get to sewing. The next thing on my plate I have just um, um, done the uh, done the uh, pressing of the side seams as well as, well this is very handy um, I've pressed the side seams I've pressed the um, uh, the darts and all the other seams as well so now I need to top stitch the um area around the 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 where the ties go through on the right side of the bodice and then i need to stay stitch the neckline so that it doesn't stretch while everything else is happening so let's let's do this thing. I've, the rain should be letting up soon, and my illicit purchases of cloth should be available at the post office. So I might go and fetch them today as soon as the rain lets up. But it doesn't seem to be happening right now, so I've got a little bit of time. So let's do this thing. Alright, the top part is now finished until I need to bind the uh, edges and um, add the... What is the word? The thing with the thing. The ties! Until I need to add the ties. So the next thing I need to do is I need to sew the um, darts on the legs. Well, they're not exactly darts. They're more, more like folds. Pleats. They're more like pleats. 
the darts on the top were pleats as well. So um, yes, so pleats and then after that it's time to add pockets to the front because pockets are important. Anyway, um, the pocket construction is really cool. Uh, it is very similar to the pocket construction in um, the Victorian pants that I've been trying to make. So that is very nice. Uh, I am here for that. Anyway, um, it's time to time to do that now. Yes, it is still raining. Um, I will see you on the other side. Okay, so uh, the pleats are done. There is a pleat here. Um, they're done. Uh, the pocket is attached and the bottom of the pocket is sewn. So at this point, uh, the thing the thing that I need to do is I need to uh, I need to press the seam allowance of the pocket opening here. I don't know if you can see that. So I need to I need to press the seam allowance of here over here towards the pocket and then understitch it so that all of the all of the uh, seam allowance is on the pocket side so that the seam can't be seen on the leg side and then after that I'm gonna stay stitch the pocket edges um, to to both the side and the top so that I wind up with something just a second something that looks a lot like this i can't i can't see at least but it basically it looks like a proper uh piece without a pocket so that is the next thing on the menu, but the rain has finally let up, so I need to take a walk to the post office now. I'll see you on the other side.
accidentally made two left fronts. So now I need to take apart one of them to, <laughs> to redo the freaking pocket so that I, I can actually have a right front as well as a left front. I already did the top stitching and all. So this is this is basically what it looks like. Here here we have a pocket. It is a fairly substantial pocket. <sighs> or it was. God damn it. Anyway, so I need to take apart one of the one of the <laughs> left legs uh, and uh, redo the pocket and redo the the top stitching and it would probably also be a good idea to redo the pleat because the pleat is also facing in the correct direction for a left front which is probably why I set the set the pocket wrong. I'm going to finish the the left front that I that I'm actually going to keep as a left front tonight and then I'm just going to go to bed because honestly if if this is where we are this is where we are and that is not going to change. And I'm, yeah, I'll see you on the other side. Good evening. It is Sunday the 8th of August and <sighs> it is late. I have again let the day get away from me. But there is a right front to be constructed which means uh, adding a pocket so that it turns out to the right side this time and adding a new pleat to the correct side again and then after that's done uh, it's time to do the pant legs leg and I think I can just about manage that much today and then tomorrow it will be time to make the crotch seam and the com combination of the two halves happen. I'm already tired as you can probably see but we will soldier on and make this thing happen. I'll see you on the other side.
All right, the legs are both done. The next thing I need to do is to attach them to each other. And then I have the lower, uh, the bottom of the uh, um, jumpsuit done. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that is very much it for me tonight. Um, Next week, we shall finish this thing. There's not a lot, lot. There is not a lot left. Um, combining the two legs of the trousers, combining the trousers and the top part of the, uh, the jumpsuit, adding ties to the uh, to the top part of the jumpsuit and then um, binding the neckline of the of the jumpsuit and I think that's about it so far I'm really liking this project because it's going really fast even though I did uh, make the mistake of of um, making two left fronts. Now I have one right front and one left front and uh, once I combined, combine them together which um, by sewing the crotch seam I will have pants. Pants are awesome. And then after pants happen, it's time to make the waist seam happen. But that is going to be a job for next week because tonight I need to go to bed. Because tomorrow is an early morning and I do not need the hassle of uh, a badly slept night on top of everything else. So, that is also where I am going to leave this vlog. Um, if you liked this, this, if you liked this vlog, please subscribe, like, do all the YouTube things. Um, and I will see you next Thursday.